In today's video, I'll be telling you if you can still use Amazon giveaways to launching products on Amazon, so be sure that you stay tuned. What's going on guys, Bashar Ketu here, Amazon and BSLer from beautiful San Diego. In today's video, we will be discussing the fact that many sellers are freaking out because of launching products, doing giveaways. If you are new to my channel, consider subscribing as I post weekly videos about selling on Amazon and also other relatable topics, typically about making money online. Now in today's video, as discussed earlier, we will be discussing um, Amazon giveaways and if it is a launch strategy that you can still use in 2019. As many of you guys know that Amazon has been cracking down on many accounts and suspending them and many sellers have been thinking it is due to um, them using Amazon giveaways to launching their products and ranking them to page number one uh, under specific keywords. And you also know that there are many services out there that actually use uh, you, um, super URLs and other methods to um, launching your products and getting you to page number one. Now, depending on which of those services you are using, some of them do use some black hat methods and some of them are actually very legit they use super URLs and they use other, um, you know, similar methods to ranking your products to page number one. Not too long ago, Amazon came up with some new uh, terms of services um, or updated their terms of services that um, many things that we used to do before, we cannot do today. And some of those things were, um, you know, getting unverified reviews or getting reviews with uh, that where the customer purchased the product with a discounted coupon um, and also other things like placing a name of a brand in your backend uh, search terms or even placing their ASAN or ASIN in your backend search terms. Those are all things that you should not be doing and that Amazon updated their TOS not too long ago to reflect those changes. Now, when it comes to Amazon giveaways, it is one of the easiest and fastest ways so getting your product to ranking for specific keywords that you are trying, trying to rank for. And what Amazon has been doing lately is that they are looking for those that are called brushing services. And what those are, um, they are services that actually use black hat methods to um, ranking products to page number one. And typically the way that works is that um, these companies manipulate many accounts or own many accounts under one you know company's name or one company's um, address and they try to manipulate sales by ranking these products to page number one and that is exactly what amazon has been uh, looking for in the past couple of months now unfortunately the issue with that is that there isn't an actual guidelines that amazon is following and it, it is really just you know um human doing it. it's not the system actually running through this the um the database and kind of trying to see who is following the TOS and who is not. So many times what happens is that you fall under, you know, you are victimized and you are a victim of simply human error. And the way that you actually get on their radar or you get your account gets red flagged is if you are doing uh, reviews or if you are trying to obtain reviews and you allow or have your customer who purchased your product at a discount leave you a review. That will red flag your account. It will not necessarily suspend it, but it will definitely red flag your account and where it would go under the radar of those humans that are looking for these brush services. Other things that may red flag your account are things that we discussed earlier, which is putting an ASIN of a, com uh, of a, of a um, competitor in your backend keywords or even their brand name in your backend keywords, which is a technique that we used to use before. However, it is something that Amazon does not allow you to do today. And that is simply because you are manipulating the search terms. And many times what would happen is that when a customer um, wants to search for a specific brand or a specific product, searching it by the brand name, your product may pop up under that search term. They may buy your product. When it arrives, they would see that it's different from what they were expecting and Amazon or those customers would complain to Amazon and really as we all know Amazon you know values their customer experience very highly another thing that may put you under those humans radar is that if you ask directly using follow-up emails uh, to your customers and telling them to leave you a five-star review we know, all know that that is against TOS 
and that in fact we can't just ask someone to leave us a five star review but instead you would ask them to to you know let everyone know about the experience they had with your product another thing that may put you under the radar is that if within a 30 day period 75% of your volume or of your sales came non organically meaning via giveaways for that reason i always suggest that you don't um, have your entire uh, launch, you know, depending on giveaways, but actually utilize things like PPC, um, utilize um, other methods, maybe like even doing the, uh, the early reviewer program, because that way not only you're gaining reviews, but you're also gaining some volume. However, giveaways alone are still a vital method to launching your products on Amazon, and honestly, probably one of the easiest but something that I would definitely look into is not go for you know discounts up to 99% as we used to do before, but try to do maybe like 60, 70, and 80. And I understand that sometimes that would be difficult to finding customers to buying your product at that discount because there are some products that don't necessarily solve a problem right there and then and make it a little bit difficult for a customer to buy our product if it's not at the 99% discount. However, that will you know, avoid any further complications happening with Amazon and getting your account suspended. Now, although that is a whole topic on its own, but if your account did get suspended, there are many companies out there that actually will offer you a uh, reinstatement uh, uh, service where they actually um, you know, submit a plan of action to Amazon explaining to them exactly what led to your account being suspended and how they are going to help you or how are you going to help your account uh, uh, and your customers to not making that mistake happen in the future. And honestly, many times what happens is that Amazon is trying to crack down on those black hat companies. Um, so really, all you need to do is just tell Amazon exactly what you did what led to the suspension, you know, because they would tell you why you got suspended. So if you just tell them all the traffic re uh, sources that you used, all the different channels, all the different uh, launch, you know, companies, even if you did use one and just be honest with them. And typically, you know, once again, they're not really coming after you, but they're really going after the bigger fish. So once again, as I explained earlier, is that giveaways is still a vital method to launching and ranking your products um, on page one and really um, you know, ranking your products for specific keywords that you are trying to rank for. Now, if you did find this video helpful, consider subscribing to this video um, or to this channel and also give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Now, the question of the day, what are some methods of launch are you currently using? Do you do PPC? Do you do giveaways? Or are there any other um, methods that you are using? I would love to hear from you as well as everyone else. So go ahead and drop them in the comment section below. And also if you do launch or if you do use a launch uh, company, please let us know which company that is or what service that is as I'm pretty sure everyone watching would benefit from that. Once again guys, for sure, get to your Amazon and be a seller from beautiful San Diego. If you found this video helpful, consider subscribing to my channel as I post weekly videos about Amazon FBA and other relatable topics, typically about ways of making money online. Thank you very much for tuning in. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day.